One of the most exciting sports in history for any male on the planet is hunting animals by archery. This particular sport has been played for thousands of years, dating way back in ancient times, with the use of different methods and equipment. Basically, bow hunting is nothing new in the sports arena but it has never lost its fun touch. Nowadays, more people are still engaged in this extremely fun way of hunting so we will provide you with 5 tips bow hunting for fox. Foxes can cause a great deal of disruption and can wreak havoc by killing other animals just for fun. This leaves farmers with a whole lot of mess to clean up. This puts foxes on the number one spot on the list of pest predators in the UK. And oh boy, believe me when I say that there are surely a hell lot of humans after them. There is no shortage of people after foxes, that is for sure. Bow hunting for fox or just hunting so to speak, is indeed exciting and fun. But hunting a moving, fast, and quite dangerous animal has never been easy. It can be challenging most especially for beginners. Then how can you outsmart a fox? One needs the right method, proper tools and correct training to be a keen bow hunter. Interested to bow hunt your first ever animal? Let me share with you these 5 tips bow hunting for fox. Here are the 5 tips. 1. Make sure it is a fox. Shoot but make sure you can identify your quarry. Be 100% sure it is a fox and fire once you have identified your target. You wouldn't want to be hurting a cat or a puppy sitting on its own, would you? So how does a fox look like and where can you usually find them? Foxes have reddish-brown coats. Most red foxes have white tails and gray foxes often have black-tipped tails. They have pointy ears, snouts which are elongated and their tails are long and bushy. You can usually find them in meadows, parks, and woodlands. Although when hungry, they can make their way into residential properties to look for food and shelter. Foxes often look like dogs but foxes usually have smaller and sleeker body frames, narrower ears and wider undersides. Remember these distinctions and it wouldn't be so hard for you to differentiate them from your beloved pet animals. 2. Find the right bow for you and conceal yourself. No weapon is one size fits all. Bows should be according to your draw length, draw weight and game. You should be able to hold the bow with ease, point at the fox and draw without too much movement so as not to lose your aim. Choose a bow that is just right for you, if you are comfortable with a lighter one then so be it. Foxes are very keen and can easily detect the slightest movements. Any clothes you wear can stand out. To complete your gear, wear camouflage clothes so you blend with your surroundings and look like the trees and the grass in the fox's eyes. Show as little skin as possible. Wear gloves and face covering. It's a tough strategy, but I'm sure you would not want to be noticed when you are spooking just 30 yards away from a wild animal. 3. Use the wind and familiarize your ground. Foxes have a great sense of smell. They will be able to smell you from afar. This sends signals that a predator is on its way. You need to be very careful and make sure foxes don't smell you so they wouldn't know you are just around the corner. How do you do this? Mask your odor by using field spray and scent eliminator. It helps to work against all animals, foxes included and works 100% of the time. Also, make sure the wind is blowing your face. That means that the wind is pushing your scent to you and not to the fox. Bottom line, do not let the fox smell you. During the daytime, you may want to walk the grounds to familiarize the area. Do a walk through and take note of the landmarks, and distances so you can gauge and memorize your path at night when there is low visibility. Look for potential hazards in the area like drains, manholes, and big rocks which can block your way or can cause you to trip over. You can also see runs and trails where the foxes have been moving about. 4. Change your routine and lure the fox. Foxes are really clever animals so you need to outsmart them by being unpredictable. They can detect repetition and you will be rumbled. Make sure you change what you did yesterday by diverting your roots and taking them by surprise. Get better results by trying new things. You can use a collar to lure the fox to you. Foxes are smart, if your call comes in a straight line towards you, don't expect them to trot directly into you. You need to prevent them from detecting your position by redirecting the sound of your call. 5. Do not rush and release bow slowly. Patience is the name of the game. Take your time. 
You can be waiting for 10 minutes and see the fox trotting in, only for him to sit down, cock its head and look like a tamed dog. Wait a little more, wait for him to move again and turn broadside for you to have a bigger target. This position gives you the best option to hit the fox's vital organs, the heart, and lungs. You also need to remember that you do not want to scare this wild animal with all the unnecessary attention. Take aim, be sure and still, and relax your fingers. You have a trigger in your hand and when you are ready to release, the index finger must pull the trigger making its way for a smooth and easy release. These 5 tips bow hunting for fox will navigate your way to a great hunt experience. The 5 tips bow hunting for fox is the best guide for amateurs. In case you miss it and the fox flees, you can always repeat the process and try your luck the next time around. Most bow hunters would say that this sport is so gratifying because of it's so difficult. But hey! Practice and discipline make things perfect and the result can be rewarding when it reaches a point where you can proudly bag your catch. Stay safe from the moment you step off the ground, while you hunt and up until you take off. Enjoy the process with these 5 tips bow hunting for fox. You'll never know, this could be the best sport you've ever gotten yourself into.